Uh, in terms of how these soils develop then, it's by, by a, a contribution of all of the same kinds of soil forming uh, processes and factors that we've seen at the other sites, but maybe just not as in, intensely uh, occurring as quite as intensely. So in terms of the additions at this particular site, we're seeing some input of organic matter uh, at, the, at the surface, precipitation coming in. Uh, in terms of any removals, there hasn't been a, a lot of removal, but because this is a sandy material, there, there has been quite a bit of water movement through it. So there's uh, nutrients and whatnot are quite readily leached through this soil profile when they are, when, uh, uh, as, as it drains. In terms of any uh, transfers or transformations within it, we do see some evidence of uh, movement downward through the profile, a, a, a slight alluvial horizon or AE horizon. Uh, but we don't see the, the, the counterpart to that. There's not enough clay in this for there to be any type of a, of a BT horizon underneath that. So, but we do see some evidence of trans, translocation within the profile. The other thing that we see is because the, the, the strong reddish horizon is basically evidence of, uh, of the iron oxides that are, that are present within this soil. That's quite characteristic of its parent material as well, which is, is so it's, it's a little bit redder than the original parent material, but there's, there is this accumulation of iron oxides in the BM horizon.